Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm out here today with the Darwin FPV Tiny Ape Freestyle Drone. Now this is a two and a half inch drone, extremely lightweight. Even with the run cam thumb that I've got on here, we have under 100 grams in weight all up weight and it runs express lrs for the control link on board so i'm getting really really great range with this guy good flight feel with the stock tune which is beta flight 4.3 so i want to get this up in the air so you guys can see how this thing flies and yeah let's just do it and we're taking off going through the gates We're just gonna go for a cruise with the thumb. Not do anything too crazy. Remember, this is all stock tuned. Very smooth. Not a lot of prop wash. I'm not using any stabilization on the camera, so you can just see it as it is. Even though the run cam thumb does support gyro flow. But this little Darwin FPV Tiny Ape feels really good to fly, guys. Even carrying this camera on it. Go all the way over here, kind of cruise around the farm. It's a beautiful day out here at my friend's farm. A little hot. Video transmitter is 600 milliwatts. It's a little scratchier than I'd prefer, honestly, but not too bad. I think we're getting good runtime with the thumb. Two minutes so far, kind of just going for a cruise here. Oh, well, now we're getting that low battery warning, but I'm going to still squeeze a little more time out of it. As we go through these trees here and down and around. Let's do an inverted yaw spin. Oh wow, even with the thumb on, that was pretty good. That was smooth. That felt good. Oh, I was a little rough on that flip there, but. Very impressed with how this Tiny Ape Freestyle got, uh, flies, guys. Range is excellent with Express LRS. Going behind these trees here. I mean, really enjoying this guy. And I guess I'm going to call it at about three minutes of flight time here with the run cam thumb on board and this 300 milliamp per hour 2S uh, two, two battery, sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately with the way the stock mounts for this come, you can't fit a full size 2S battery on the uh, lengthwise like this. So I have to take this mount off in order for me to use this battery now to show you guys how this thing flies with no camera. One of the very weird things, by the way, about the Darwin FPV Tiny Ape is that it comes with all Phillips head screws. You don't get uh, your typical hex screws i all of them pretty much are that way all right i've got this gmb 530 2s battery fitting very nicely on here so we're going to take this and go for a flight wow the tune feels so the tune feels so locked it's really nice guys just stock out of the box
I'm very impressed. Beta Flight 4.3 does a lot of good work on here. Keeping this tune smooth. Let's just do an inverted yaw spin. Very smooth. Look at that. Eh, with the run cam thumb and the whole battery situation, I definitely feel like it blocks the video transmitter a little more. Because I'm getting better video, obviously, without the battery messing up with the antenna. Oh, a little bit of blips there. Oh, 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 very scratchy back here. Yeah, so for a 600 milliwatt video transmitter, I'm not sure that I am that impressed. Freestyles very well, though. Oh, yeah. Clean power loops. Everything's very clean. It's nice. It's got a nice flight feel to it, guys. I have had some crashes with it already. I've had this drone for the past couple weeks, two or three weeks, and haven't obliterated it yet, but. Ooh. Yep, really enjoying this quad. And it's so cheap that uh, it's nice to have a little something that I can recommend for not that much money, relatively speaking anyway, with how crazy flight controller prices have gotten and ESC prices. I mean, this is really not too bad. Now, you can run it on 3S. I have not bothered to run it on that. I'm getting a solid four minutes of flight time here, guys. Very solid four minutes. So there's plenty of freestyle. Go through the cube tower. Oh, oh no. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what happened with that crash. Any major damage, but we'll we'll give this a test and see how it goes. But yeah, I've crashed it and I've yet to bust a motor or mess anything up. So let's see. And there it goes, back in action. So we got a crash, we got flights. I think you could get away with crashing this in the grass. Probably be worried about, you know, crashing it on concrete, things like that. These little small motors. But in soft grass, this kind of environment, you'd be fine. And I'm killing this battery, guys. Oh, man. This is embarrassing. I killed that battery. Holy crap. Okay. That's it. We're going to call it. <laughs> there are a few things that I think you should know if you're going to pick this thing up. 
I would tighten everything up when you get it because I had one of those screws loose on this camera guard, this camera mount guard piece here, and it fell out literally on my first flight. I missed it, I didn't do that. But the non-run cam thumb version combo, like I did, uh, you will have to solder a connector to the board for your run cam thumb. There are luckily some pads just sticking out right there, five volt pads that you can tap into to use. That's what I did and I was able to power my little run cam thumb that way. To recap, my recommended batteries are this 530 GMB battery for if you're not flying with the thumb and this 380 if you are going to fly with the thumb. I think, I think both of these batteries provide a good power to weight ratio. Speaking of batteries, this strap is not the one that it comes with. It comes with this really dinky little yellow battery strap. Uh, I would just get a much better strap because uh, the one it comes with absolutely sucks. But other than that, uh, honestly, for what you're getting here, I think this is worth it, absolutely worth it. I've had a good time with this quad. Flies really, really well out of the box. Uh, I would upgrade it to the latest version of Betaflight when you get it. You technically don't have to do that, but it actually shipped, at least mine shipped, with a release candidate version on it. And it flew, but you wanna be on the the latest the, the latest last version of beta flight 4.3 guys let me know if you have any questions about the darwin fpv tiny ape freestyle don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel do a lot of drone reviews here and i've got more coming up darwin fpv with express lrs and the run cam thumb i'm going to give this one a thumbs up overall our link is down in the video description below if you buy it from there it Help support the channel, help support what I do on here. And with that being said, you guys have a great day. I'm gonna go do some flying and you guys take care.